Welcome to Lightspeed Spanish. Here we are with Sebastiano. And your surname, Sebastiano, what is it? My surname is Aguirre. 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 Okay, Sebastiano. Sebastiano Aguirre. Sebastiano Aguirre. Yeah. And Sebastiano Aguirre is from Argentina. Argentina. Mm -hmm. And that's right. Most, even more special from Buenos Aires. Yes, that's right. Hello, Sebastiano. Hello, thank you Hello. very much. Thank you very much for doing uh, this uh, interview uh, with us. Yeah. My thanks to you to have this opportunity and to try to speak to others, no, to uh, exchange information, to exchange uh, characteristics, to exchange uh, things about our language and your language. Perfect. Excellent. Um, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us about Sebastiano. What do you do? Okay. I am uh, 34 years old. Uh, I live in Buenos Aires in a neighborhood called Nunez, close to the stadium of River Plate, uh, exactly seven blocks away from the stadium. And when River Plate played, I had a lot of people, a lot of cars around my house. Um, I am a hairdresser, especially a cutter. I do cut for men, for women, and up to for a person who are going to get married. Oh. Uh, yes, 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 that's right. Um, well, that is what I, I do, okay. and that is what I am. And. Um Sebastiano, you know, um, obviously, you're, you're what you would describe as a porteño, yes? Yes. Yes, yes somebody right. from Buenos Aires, yeah. Yes. What do, what do you think, uh, um, you know, kind of the, the Spanish from Spain and Spanish from other countries, what are the main differences between the, the Spanish of a porteño and, and Spanish elsewhere? Okay, there are a lot of differences. Um, what we had here is something called slang as a lot of country has and um, the colloquial uh, way to, to, to speak is totally different. In some cases, uh, people from Argentina, in some cases, don't understand what a Spanish boy, Spanish girl is telling you sure. because there are different uh, words and constructions and tenses that they use and that we are not using anymore. Mm -hmm. For, ex mm -hmm. for the pronunciation is different uh, as well. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, for example, uh, which words for which words do you use uh, in in Buenos Aires that perhaps aren't used elsewhere? For example, um, in Buenos Aires, it really, it's very common to say um, "che che como andas." Ooh. It's like to say, hello, how are you? Uh, uh -huh. What are you up to? No? It's che or que onda? Que onda? Que onda, como va todo? Y dale, por ejemplo. Dale is como, this, uh, dale is like to say in Spanish, vale. Vale, ah, ok, dale, sí, vale. yeah. Vale, dale. Vale, dale. Y, Yes. I used to hear that in Mexico, uh, people would say "dale, dale, dale," but more to like "go." Yes, yes, but here "dale" is like the start actions and different kind of actions. For example, right. we had to go out to go to a bar and "dale, let's go." It's okay. Like to say something like that, yeah. or you are in a hurry, "dale," or you are uh, to do something important or to apply for a job, "dale." Okay. Okay. Yes. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Uh, and what about the um, the use of uh, uh, boss in in Argentina? Because is it only Argentina that uses boss? Boss. Uh, what do you? Yeah, for uh, example. Uh, what do you mean uh, talking about boss? Uh, when ah, I've boss. Heard boss. Boss. You. Boss. Sauce. Boss. Sauce. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, boss in Argentina is like you said, you. For example. Uh, you call me is boss shamane. That, for example, it's something like that. Okay. It's, it's like to say, it's, it's something colloquial to say uh, you. 
Okay, C can you help me with the, the conjugation of that? Because, for example, if, if I said, tu, tu comes, okay, mm. you eat, how would the vos work with that? Uh, would be, e vos uh, come, uh, vos anda, uh, vos anda e open the door, uh, vos, uh, hacelo vos, do it, just, you do that, just hacelo vos. Okay, okay. And, mm -hmm. and what does it have on the end then? Because two ends with S. Yes, yes, yes that's right. Yes, it's very, com it's very complex because in some cases it's, it's appropriate to use vos at the end of the sentence. For example, you are um, giving a strong opinion or you demand something strong or, for example, you are in a job or your partner has to do something and uh, he wants you to do that, and you can tell him just hacelo vos. It's <laughs> not my concern. It. That is not my concern. Yeah, as okay. you do it, hacelo vos, porque, because you is like to say, porque vos so sé que lo tiene que hacer. Because you are the right person to do that. Okay. Right? Yeah. It's very complex. It's very complex. I got to think about that try, to try to explain. Explain very, it. Yes, very well done because I never thought about it. Okay. I never thought about it. It's something colloquial, something spontaneous. Okay. And and is the is the boss form um, uh, formal or informal? It's informal. Informal. So like informal. two in a, in a yes. way, yeah? Yes. Okay. Uh, your your father's if you are very and your your father's if you respect a lot, you have to say your father's usted, but your friend, your friend is boss. Hey, bo. boludo, for example. Boludo is like to say, uh, boludo. pussy, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yes. It's very common, but in, um, uh, in a friendship way. In a, fr huh? a friendly way, yeah, yeah, yeah. In a friendly way, yes, in a friendly way. Boludo. Um, see, boludo is like to say, you, your best friend, you call he, him or her boludo. Okay. Uh, and the contraction, vos boludo, is very common here. Vos boludo. I suppose. Si, vos in, boludo, yes. In Spain, in Spain, the friends call each other cabrón. Uh, yes, that's so, right. That's so right. Same type but of I, feel, yeah? But I, I, I don't know the sense to say cabrón in Spanish. Maybe it can, can, can be something aggressive or something polite. I don't know. Here, Depends, it's yeah. very polite to say uh, boludo. Really? <laughs> yes, yes, okay. yes. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, so go, go on, go on. No, 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 you ca carry on. I'm just, it, what I find is is the, the, the differences of the Spanish, it, it, for me, are fascinating. For example, your double L and your Y, how do you pronounce those? The double L, okay. The double L, uh, let me put example on the rain, no? On the rain. Um, the, the double L on the rain is Lluvia. 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 But here, here in Argentina, we pronounce uh, bad, but it became something colloquial. We said lluvia, but lluvia. The, lluvia. the appropriate way to say that is lluvia, similar to Spain. But sure. for a long time ago, we started to say lluvia, and that double R no? it became. Uh, also, it's pronouncing like shu. Yeah, like yeah. Like S H in English. Yeah. In English. Okay, okay. Because there's, you know, there's a lot of controversy about how you pronounce the double L and the Y. Yes. Some people say it's J. Some people say it's J. Obviously, Argentinians say sh. So Same. it's it's nice. No. So, um, and what about the Y? Y, as in Joe. Ah, yeah. Jo, like I. Uh huh. Okay. Jo is come is with um, the I, and this I with some uh, vocal is the way to say vowels. Vowels. Vowels are the some vowel sounds different. Okay. With A, with A is sound like cha. Cha. Cha mean. Cha mean now. Oh yeah, yeah, like John. For example, say, yeah. Shaboy, and now I go. Yeah, yeah. And uh, sh with the O is show, 
like say that uh, I am the appropriate person and the suitable person to do that. Yo soy, no? Okay, the, show. The, see, yo soy, the, yo soy the man, the guy, <laughs> and uh, with e is uh, yeah. No, ah. no, also, also she. In Check. so many cases, she, but it's very mm, not. It, it depends, yes. It depends, but it's not very common. No, ah. it's not very common. But uh, what I got to do is a list of what. Uh, it is about your doubt, and I'm gonna think about that. So then, in the next video, we can uh, uh, we can uh, revert everything. Okay, that'd be cool. Yeah, well, yeah, that'd be cool. Well, we can continue talking now. Well, listen, uh, Sebastiano, look, we've we've hit ten minutes, so that's great. So what I'd yeah. like to do now, we'll we'll bring this um, interview to an end, and then we'll do another interview in Spanish, and then we get the chance to hear your accent, yes. yeah, okay. in action, perfect. yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank perfect. you very much. We'll see you in the next video. Okay, I'm just going to stop this one. Perfect.